The first stone of a monument to the memory of Thomas Sankara was laid October 15 in Ugadugu, 31 years to the day after the assassination of the father of the Bekinab revolution. The bronze five-meter-high statue will be erected on four hectares at the headquarters of the National Council of the Revolution, where President Sankara was killed by a commando on 15 October 1987 at 37 years old a blow that brought to power his companion-in-arms, Blaise Compare. Today, the heirs, friends, sympathizers in the entire nation want to raise him from the ashes. And where? On the council site where one fateful Thursday afternoon, he left the meeting room next door put his hands up and was taken down by the bullets of murderous traitors. We must find a way to keep the memory of the man in this temple because we want it to be a temple. The symbolism is, it's where they wanted to kill the man and his ideas. Now imagine that this man is reborn in the same place with even bigger ideas. That's what we want for the captain. Several hundred people, including members of the government, attended the ceremony, followed by a procession to the Burkina building where President Sankara was shot dead. Thomas Sankara, who came to power in a coup in 1983, sometimes referred to as the African Sheh, was facing a rising challenge in the country because of his uncompromising choices. While his denunciation of imperialism and his links to the leaders of Libya and Ghana earned him strong enemies abroad.